So uh, one quick question that I got uh, before the exam is uh, somebody sent me an email just asking what uh, actually caused uh, delayed onset muscle soreness. Uh, as we highlighted in class, uh, the cause is absolutely definitely not lactic acid uh, buildup. Uh, the true answer is um, ultimately micro tears uh, in the muscle. So uh, small kind of parts of the muscle that become damaged, like those images that we showed uh, in the PowerPoint slides, um, essentially kind of rip apart, tear apart the muscles. Um, and, and that damage is ultimately what leads to uh, the delayed onset muscle soreness. Um, if you're curious to take it uh, one step slightly farther, just for your general knowledge, if you're curious that the, um, that the reason that these micro tears are responsible for the damage is that uh, when uh, uh, proteins and stuff come in to essentially fix that damage, so we, we have repair proteins that will come in and clear out the damage and then start repairing them. And, uh, it's believed to be that when these proteins kind of come in, that they then um, bring uh, lots of stuff with them. So water comes in with them, there's some minor swelling, and that kind of pushes on the pain receptors in and around muscle and, and ultimately leads to um, uh, being sore. But for this class, uh, the two key parts about lactic acid, or about delayed onset muscle soreness, is that it is not caused by lactic acid. And two, it is, it is caused by uh, uh, muscle tears or micro damage.